Today, um, uh, we're going to be talking about text, about uh, why you can struggle with it. Let's struggle to, you know, learn your lines and struggle to stay free with your lines and why that's happening and what you can do about it. Uh, oftentimes here actors, when we start working together, I oftentimes hear them say that text is really a struggle. It's really a headache that it's difficult to learn. It's a lot of hard work that there's a lot of fear around, um, you know, forgetting the lines. Um, and maybe you've, you've felt this way before. So it sounds like you might think you're not good with text, or you might think that if you don't know it well enough, you're going to be failing or you're going to be forgetting the struggle that you might feel when you're learning the lines, how hard it is, how much work it is, how you struggle with it when it's text that you don't get or you think is poorly written. So the struggle might increase sometimes depending on the text. And sometimes also you might be feeling that the words or the text are really preventing you from being free. Like you feel free, but when you say those stupid words or whatever, your freedom goes away. So it really is a problem that a lot of actors are experiencing because if you're stuck with that, you can't really be there. You can't really be in the moment and, and therefore you, you can't, you know, be alive and, and, and be in character. The, the first thing that I want to talk about is why you're experiencing that. So in my opinion, um, it's, it's a context issue. So the context in which you walk into thinking, I have to learn my lines as an actor, or I have to know them by heart is an obligation, right? So I have to, as soon as you're in an obligation, and as soon as someone is going to look at you kind of regurgitating your lines, you go back into the feeling of this is homework and there's going to be a test and I'm going to be judged and there are going to be some consequences. And all of that does definitely not give you access to freedom, right? It gives you access to ugh, a yucky hard work feeling. It's not fun to learn the lines. There's fear associated with the failure that comes with it. And um, the fact that this, this, this test thing that comes with it is, is really putting you back in a, in a, in a context where nothing about that is artistic. It really feels like you're a little child and a test is fine. It kind of feels like it's, it's unfair. I want you to hear when there is no obligation, you learn seven times faster. And the other thing is that the thirst for the knowledge, for the knowing is much bigger because nothing is being shoved down your throat, right? So when you come to text with a context of, I have to do this, this is like oh, what I have to do, I'm an actor and I have to learn the lines and I have to know them really well and I can't fail or forget because God forbid, then I would be bad. Well, all of that, take it this way, slows you down seven times. And of course, the other reason and probably most important reason why you're struggling with it is because of these first two reasons, you're putting so much focus, you're putting so much attention, energy, and like it's the priority is to learn the lines. That's the first thing that actors do when I start working with them they, you receive your sides or whatever, or the project that you're going to work on. And the first thing you do is work on the lines as if it was the most important thing. So all of the work you do is from your head on those lines, trying to learn them. And guess what happens? You get into a rhythm because your head you can't prevent it from thinking and figuring things out. And your head will, th will say, there's a right way to say these lines. This means the idea that I think of it. This, so it should sound that way. And the second you think it should sound a, a, per, a certain way, you're dead. And I said a lapsus, right? It should sound a perfect way. That's probably what your head is telling you too. It, I should know this perfectly. So the obligation the thinking that it's kind of a test and there's failure and consequences attached to it and you putting so much work onto it 
is why you actually struggle to learn them and is why you actually get lose all your freedom when it comes to text. It's not the fact that the text is not exactly great. That's not the reason why you lose your freedom. The reason you lose it is because you get into a musicality because you put so much, if not all of your energy on it, that the only thing that's working is your head and it's trying to figure it out. It's trying to make it right. And that's when you're screwed. What I also want to tell you guys, if you haven't yet, I have a free training that's called um, Stop Trying to Be a Good Actor so you have a chance at being great. I really encourage you to download it. I'll put it in the comments if you haven't downloaded it yet because this will give you a much deeper take on the topic that we're talking about right now and on other topics in general, but it will really give you an insight onto the things that you can start doing in order to not be stuck with, with the text. So, text is not a thing. The text doesn't exist. There is no text. If you are being a character, you're just pouring yourself into a soul, being a human being who wants something and who are, is using words to get what they want, right? So when you start thinking about the words as a way to get what you want, it's no longer text that you need to learn. It's your character's way of getting what they want, right? So if it's not text, um, what I'm going to invite you to try, and I want you guys to try it out and then come back in the group and say how this worked for you, right? Is to actually not learn it. And I'm not kidding. The reason why you are stuck with it and why it's hard work is because you think you have to learn it. And what I'm telling you right now is in order for you to not struggle with it and to keep being able to be in, in the moment, you have to not learn your lines. It cannot be the priority, the thing that you go into and you focus on and you do the stuff. When you don't learn your lines, then you can start working on your character, working on what is actually um, there for you, the character in the moment and what you're trying to get. When you're not learning your lines and when you're not regurgitating them in the moment, which is what actors do if they focus on text, they come to the audition and or the, or the project that they're working on and all that it's about, because that's all the energy you've poured into it, is about saying the lines and saying it in an interesting way. And there's no way you can have fun with that. There's no way you can be in the moment with that. There's no way that you can be noticed or that you can be called back or that you can, you know, charm a, an audience with that because you're not there. You're busy saying your lines. You're not being the character. Right? If you're not going to learn your lines, what you're going to do is you're going to listen. You're going to listen to what the person is saying to you. And if you know who your character is and what you're going for, what you want, and if it makes sense for you, so all of that work needs to be done, you'll know what you're answering. You don't have to learn that. So there's a much more, it's a much more playful approach. Give it a try, right? So don't learn the lines, leave that to just happen organically and actually listen when you're in your scene. Maybe don't try it out when you're auditioning or don't try it out when you're actually filming something, but try it out with a friend, try it out with a colleague and see what happens. There's a reason why some people, example, Meredith Streep, says that she can read the text once or twice and she knows it. It's not because she's a genius, it's because you do not want to learn the lines. If you learn the lines, you're not going to be able to be present. What's possible when you do this is that you're really in the zone. You're really being your character. You're really listening. And because you're listening to what they're telling you and you know what they, what you want, well, you know what you're telling them because it's moving you forward and it's moving you closer to what you're trying to get, right? Sometimes people say when the words are not, you know, when I can't connect with the words or they're off or poorly written, then I really struggle with the lines. I want you to forget the word text and lines. They are words that your character is saying. And no matter what you feel about them, 
If you can be authentic with that, and of course for that, you have to have a free instrument because you have to be able to feel whatever it is you feel and be comfortable with it, then the word that you are saying as your character is your access to freedom. It's not that the words prevent you from being free. They are what is giving you the access to your real freedom, to what you are impulsively sensing on that word. Go in the Facebook group, the Instinctive Actor Society, ask your questions there or your specific situations. And that's where we can connect and we can take the discussion further. Um, download the Stop Trying to Be a Good Actor so you have a chance of being great um, training because this will take this discussion completely further. Put your questions in here, get your free training, and I'll see you next week.